Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi everyone. Welcome to a new video. How are you doing today? Espero que estén muy bien. <clears throat> uh, so <laughs> today we have a new crossword puzzle and we are going to talk about different words, Spanish words related to the office, not the show, not the TV show, but just any office, <laughs> you know, any office. Uh, so uh, before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and also click on the bell icon so you can get notified every time I live stream. Uh, you can also visit smlessons.com for more free Spanish lessons to actually download this crossword puzzle. Uh, you can find all the links in the video description down below. And also I want to give a big, big shout out to our members, to our Cerveza members, KS and William Lopez. Thank you guys, the Cerveza is yummy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. And also another big shout out to our Cafecito member, Keith Pearson. Thank you, Keith, the coffee is delicioso. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias por el apoyo. Thank you so much for the support, guys. If you want me to give you a shout out and for more perks, uh, you can click on the on the join button down below to check out the different memberships on this channel. So if you're interested in that, please uh, just take a few seconds and look at the memberships. Okay. <laughs> uh, remember that we are live streaming, so you can use the live chat. I see already or members on the live chat. Hello, guys. KS says el pollo en el restaurante estaba crudo. <laughs> um, crudo is today's Spanish word of the day. That means raw and, or uncooked. So thank you, KS, for using that adjective. Perfect example. And also, Will is in the house. Hi, Will. Uh, muchos atletas comen huevos crudos por la mañana. <laughs> Excellent example. Uh, yeah, I know it's crazy how some people drink or eat raw eggs for some people, some athletes. Uh, maybe because, I don't know, protein? Uh, I'm not sure, but excellent example using uh, the word crudo. Excellent. Thank you so much, Will, and welcome, guys. Que okay, yes, solo deja que ruede. Solo deja que ruede. Hmm. ¿Cómo andas? Vos tenés un, un buen transmisión en vivo. Una buena transmisión. Transmisión is actually feminine, guys. <laughs> I know it's tricky. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much, que yes, for all the comments and for sharing some Spanish examples. Awesome. Aha, uh -huh. so today, before I get started, uh, before I, we get started, please just give this video a like. That helps me a lot, a lot, guys. So if you can't, please do that for me. Uh, so I'll show you the crossword puzzle. We have 15 words, guys. All of them are quite long. <laughs> and they're all nouns. So everything is a noun here. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. no verbs, no adjectives, just nouns. And three down looks very crazy. <laughs> three down and 15 across and two down. Man, that looks very loco. <laughs> okay. Last time, KS was the winner and he's winning so far this month. So let's see what happens, okay? So are you guys ready? Are you ready? Do you know any vocabulary about the office? I think it's it's good to know this because who doesn't have an office nowadays, right? If you work from home, you have your home office. If you have to go somewhere, you have an office there as well. So yeah, let's get started. I'm going to choose the first number 
And remember, guys, whoever wins the or whoever wins, whoever guesses the word correctly, correctly, then um, that person has to tell me the next number. Remember that. And there is a timer, guys. We're keeping the timer. <laughs> so you have two minutes to answer the question. Of course, the time starts when I read the definition. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to choose an easy one. And I see that the only easy word here is one down. Uno vertical. So let's do that one. <laughs> Uno vertical, one down. That is right here, guys. Ooh, okay. So this word has five letters. Cinco letras, cinco letras. So, are you guys ready? <laughs> uh, remember, this is a noun. And let me find a definition. One down. The time starts now. A flat paper container, container with a syllable flap used to enclose a letter or document. A flat paper container, so it's a paper container with a syllable flap used to enclose a letter or document. So how do you say this word in Spanish? It's a flat paper container. Flat paper container. It's usually yellow. I've seen yellow ones. I've seen white ones. You can put a letter in there as well. So how do you say this in Spanish? There are different sizes as well. So we have something big, something medium size or small. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> din, din, din. <laughs> I see a, a correct answer. Will says silla. Silla, that means chair. <laughs> Pasta, pasta, ooh, pasta. <laughs> that means uh, just pasta, pasta, pasta is pasta. <laughs> and the correct answer is sobre. Remember, guys, that we're talking about things that you can find in an office. Sobre is the correct answer. Sobre, sobre. That means envelope, okay? So any envelope. You can use that word to refer to an envelope. And who gets the point? KS gets the point. Good job, KS. <clears throat> Sorry. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. KS. Whoa, what happened there? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, let me do this. There you go. That's better. I'm not sure what happened there. KS, well, KS is right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna make this a bit smaller. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. So KS gets the first point. Let's reset the timer. And KS is saying tres horizontal. Tres horizontal. So let's find the number. Good job, KS. <laughs> Will says, wow, I have no idea. Pasta means folder in Portuguese. Really? Really? That is interesting. Pasta, pasta. Huh. In Spanish, pasta is pasta. Yeah. So that's that's great. That's great. Uh, now I know a new uh, word in Portuguese. I like that. Pasta. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So, tres horizontal. Let's find that. Uh, I think it's three down, tres vertical, three down, and, uh, ooh, okay, so this one is very long, it's the longest, KS likes challenges, I like that, okay, three down, this one has three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, 18 letters, 18 letters, and this is actually um, 
it's gonna be more than one word guys this word has three words <laughs> this is not a word this is a, a phrase it, but it's still a noun three words guys three words let me find the definition three down okay so this definition is very short it's a noun guys remember that and the timer starts now three down connection to the internet so how do you say this in spanish just a connection to the internet so you pretty much have to translate this term <laughs> okay uh, connection to the internet uh, so if you need to check something on the internet you need this you need this and remember three words uh, so yes do you know the answer hmm nowadays you really need this if you if you're in an office you can find this without any problem you can also find this I would say in any coffee shop uh, or something like that so yeah that happens uh, Starbucks in aha uh aha -huh, uh -huh. ding 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 I I see a correct answer so que yes is saying la conexión a internet conexión a internet I'm I think I'm going to I mean will also says conectar a la internet conectar a la internet um, technically you are not correct 100% but I think I'm going to give a point I don't know I don't know la conexión a internet let's see the answer guys Let, let's see the answer conexión so that's correct that's correct conexión de that's the second word internet internet conexión de internet la conexión de internet and that means internet connection or internet internet access but it's more like internet connection okay so i think ks was closer like he he gave the uh the like 99 percent correct answer so well you were pretty close as well but you're using a verb and uh you're using more than three words so yeah i agree i think ks get gets the point gets the point okay so good job guys good good job good job okay yes two points awesome okay oh <laughs> okay um okay yes es, es tan evidente <laughs> okay i'm sorry <laughs> es tan evidente oh okay <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is the answer. Con uh, conexión de internet, uh, internet connection. So now let's see. Let's look at the or. Okay, yes. Can you let us know the next number, please? The next number. I'm going to reset the timer. And uh, I'll just wait for KS. So, <clears throat> how was your day today, guys? I hope you you had a, a good day. I mean, it's it's hard right now with the pandemic and all of that. But um, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're 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 uh, you know you're safe and uh, that you feel good. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> It's crazy, it's crazy. Que yes, ocho vertical, ocho vertical. That is right here, eight down, eight down. Okay. Eight down, 
that is let me see mm, that's right here ocho vertical eight down this one has seven letters siete letras siete letras now let's see the definition let's see the definition eight down mm -hmm. okay i have it ready and the time starts starts now a cover for full for holding loose sheets of paper magazines etc together okay so it's a cover for holding loose sheets of paper magazines etc so they that thing uh, holds everything together usually sheets sheets of paper magas magazines usually sheets of paper i used to have a bunch of them when i was in high school actually so it's a cover for holding loose sheets of paper magazines etc together so how do you call this in spanish mm -hmm. Okay, yes, es todo bien, vos, todo bien, yeah, todo bien, <laughs> todo muy bien, I, I'm glad, I'm glad, que okay, yes. S Will says soporte, no, that's not correct, but it sounds, it sounds interesting, que okay, yes, ding, 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 que okay, yes, que okay, yes says carpeta, and that is the answer, guys, carpeta carpeta that means binder okay so if you have loose sheets of paper <laughs> of paper or something like that uh, you can use a binder una carpeta para para tus hojas okay uh, so yeah carpeta binder la carpeta the binder so good job good job guys and okay let's get another oh not 23 points but three points three points excellent now i i had to uh reset the timer and now please okay yes can you let us know the next number la carpeta una carpeta so yeah when i when i was younger i had some yeah i like to have binders <laughs> uh, and something really interesting uh, when learning when learning english i used to refer to this carpeta i used to say carpet do you have a carpet no carpet in english is something completely different you know uh that uh, I don't know carpet whatever you put on the floor uh, but in English carpeta is binder so yeah that's quite interesting so if you're learning this Spanish word in your native language is English you might get confused maybe you're thinking about some uh, carpet or something like that but no we're talking about binders okay KS is saying nueve vertical. I learned boss bo today. That that's why I am using it. Boss, yeah, boss is very very good. El buceo, that's very interesting. Um, in Argentina, they use boss a lot in in different parts of Latin America as well. In Guatemala, I think, and also in Mexico, in the south part of Mexico. They, they use boss a lot. So, okay, nueve vertical. Let's do that one. Okay, nueve vertical. That's nine across, actually. Nueve horizontal. <laughs> and uh, that is right here. Right here. And this word has seven letters, siete letras. Yeah, siete letras again. The first letter is the letter E, and then we have the letter N, or N, E, N, N. 
So let's see. Let me see. Let, um, I have to find the definition first, and then the time will start. Uh huh. Nine, 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 nine across. Nine across. Okay. The time starts now. A device that scans documents and converts them or converts them into digital data. Okay, so a device that scans documents and converts converts them into digital data or data data. <laughs> uh, so, what would you use to scan documents? Pretty much, <laughs> and obviously in Spanish. This word also has an accent mark, so remember that. Um, and it's a noun. It's a noun. Okay. Will says my performance without using the translator goes downhill. <laughs> Uh, it happens. It happens. It's part of the learning experience for sure. <laughs> uh, it is. Yeah. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. I see a correct answer in actually. Yeah. The a correct grammar as well. So I'm going to give the point to both of you guys because you you that's what we do. If you use the accent mark correctly, the first one to have perfect grammar gets the point as well. And if you miss an accent mark, that's fine as well. So the answer is a scanner, a scanner. So this is very similar to the English word scanner. OK, so it's very easy to remember. Just keep in mind that this word has an accent mark on top of the letter A. Okay, a scanner, scanner. Uh, so, Will and KS get a point. Good job, guys. I'm just gonna put Will here, and he has only one point, and KS gets one point as well. Perfect, perfect. Now, I don't know, KS or Will, can you please let me know the next number? El escáner, by the way, scanner or escáner <laughs> is masculine. El escáner, la carpeta, la conexión de internet, el sobre, okay? So, let's keep that in mind. Now, maybe, okay, KS, KS wants to uh, choose a, the number. Okay. KS says, seis vertical, las señoras en la mirada tan hermosa. Las, las señoras en la mirada tan hermosa. Interesting phrase. KS, now, let me... Find the number. Let's find the number. Mm. Seis vertical. That's correct. Six down. And that is here. This word has three, six, nine. Nine letters. Nueve letras. Nueve letras, guys. So I'm going to reset the timer. I'm going to find the definition six down guys nine letters okay now <laughs> okay aha uh -huh. this one is going to be uh, similar to the scanner sometimes you can find that also that device has also scanner but anyways the time starts now and the definition is a machine for printing text or pictures onto paper, especially one linked to a computer. Again, a machine for printing text or pictures onto paper, 
especially one linked to a computer. So how do you call this in Spanish? Sometimes this device also has a scanner. So yeah. Ding, ding, ding. I see a correct answer. The answer is impresora, impresora. So will is correct. Impresora, impresora. That means printer. Impresora, la impresora, the printer. So Will gets a point. Good job, Will. That was pretty fast. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, Will, can you please let us know the next number? Yeah, usually people like ink for printers are so or is really expensive um, it, I don't know why it's so expensive but uh, yeah okay yes yes let's do that one uh, number 10 I'm just gonna fix this I feel too close to the camera <laughs> okay so yes Yes, 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 yes. That's 10 down. Um, 10 vertical. Mm -hmm. So this one is a long word. The first letter is the letter C. Okay, letter C, letter C. Now, the time starts now a chart of series of pages pages showing the days weeks and months of a particular year or giving particular seasonal information once again a chart of series of page, pages <laughs> pages showing the days weeks and months of a particular year or giving particular seasonal information okay such as holidays <laughs> uh, so do you know the answer uh -huh. ding 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 okay i see the answer i don't know why it's not there you go it's showing on the chat now uh that's correct <laughs> ks was almost correct but the right answer the correct answer is calendario Calendario. Un calendario, un calendario de amor. <laughs> There's a song that goes like that. Uh, calendario means calendar. El calendario, the calendar. Okay. So, Will gets a point. Good job, Will. Oh, this is getting, this is getting close. Yeah. Um, now, Will, can you please let us know the next number? Today is pretty quiet, like not a lot of people join us today, which, which is uh, weird, but I mean, it's not like we always have a lot of people here, but uh, yeah, today we don't have too many people, but I'm glad that you guys are playing uh, I mean, you are both members on this channel. So that is, that's very cool. Uh -huh. Will says, one of the first things I've learned in Spanish is that Spanish doesn't have double S. In Portuguese, we would say impresora with double S. Huh, impresora. So it's very similar to the Spanish word, but you have double S. That is crazy. Uh huh. It's like in Italian, they have a double C double C or double Z um, so yeah that's that's very cool that's very interesting thank you for sharing well uh, 15 let's do that one 15 numero 15 guys numero 15 I'm going to reset the timer and numero 15 el numero 15 that is right here right at the bottom almost at the bottom of the crossword uh-huh 
Now I see something. Three, six, seven. Okay. I'm going to find the. Oh, let me see. This has three, six, nine, eleven words. Once letras. Once letras. So I'm going to find the definition. Aha, uh -huh, this one is quite interesting. Okay, the time starts now. Something used for making mathematical mathematical calculations, in particular a small electronic device with a keyboard and a visual display. Okay, so it's something used for making mathematical calculations, guys. So <laughs> addition and all of that. In particular, a small, it's very small, electronic device. It's usually like a rectangle and it has a keyboard. Um, actually, some Casio watches had that, which I, which I find very interesting. I, I love to have one of those, but those watches, but man. And also it has a visual display. Okay, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Will is correct and also KS. You guys guessed correctly. We're talking about calculadora. Calculadora. And let's see the answer. Calculadora. Calculadora. That means calculator. <laughs> so, very similar to the English word. You only have to add a letter A at the end of the word. And uh, William, can you can you let me know how you say calculator in Portuguese? Because that would be pretty interesting to know as well. Now I want to learn Portuguese. <laughs> uh -huh. But while you do that, Will, I'm going to give you a, a point because you were the first one to answer. Okay. So we have a tie so far. Chin, chin, chin. Interesting. Okay. So, Will, can you please let us know the next number? La calculadora, by the way, that is feminine. La calculadora. Okay, Will says calculadora is the same in Portuguese. <laughs> well, that's good. That's good. Now I, I, know, I know another uh, word in Portuguese. So <laughs> that is cool. Okay, siete, siete. Let's do siete. The number siete. <laughs> and uh, huh. let's remove the number. Um, oh, this one is short. This one is short, so it must be easy. I hope. I hope. Uh, you, you guys guessed the longest word on the crossword puzzle. So that's that's amazing. That's pretty cool. Uh, number seven has five letters, cinco letras. One of them is the letter E. Okay. Seven, seven across, siete horizontal. Okay, this one is easy, guys. This one is gonna be easy. <laughs> okay, sello, sello. Remember, that is not an L. That, that letter is the letter E, okay? doesn't have the, the dot above, but that's the letter E, 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 not L. Okay, so the time starts now. An instrument for writing or drawing consisting of a thin stick of graphite or a similar substance enclosed in a long, thin piece of wood or fixed in a metal or plastic case. Usually you can... Yeah, the wood ones are more common, but it's just an instrument that helps you write and draw. And it's just yellow. It has some 
eraser at the top on the top uh, I never use <laughs> that eraser but <laughs> yeah ding 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 we have an answer and a correct spelling as well I mean the grammar the grammar is on point okay so that is correct my friends we're talking about lapis lapis and it has an accent mark on top of the letter ah lapis because otherwise it would sound like lapis lapis and that that's not a, a, a good intonation so it has to have the accent mark on top of the letter a and it's pronounced lapis lapis okay el lapis remember it's masculine el lapis that means the pencil <laughs> so yes great great okay so uh who was the first one to answer will will okay will gets the point good job guys good job will uh, but yeah roger hi roger welcome <laughs> welcome bienvenido uh, will says i'm sorry in portuguese is lapis lapis so it's very similar to the spanish one lapis the only difference is the last letter uh, but yeah that's pretty cool will says numero once numero once guys once 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 is 11 numero once 11 down that's that's right here it looks like an easy word it has five letters cinco letras i'm going to reset the timer okay once 11. Mm -hmm. mm. this one is good this one is good <laughs> roger says hola sugar hola roger <laughs> como estas espero que estes excelente <laughs> okay time starts what number was it 11 11 times the time starts now a straight strip or cylinder of plastic i would say more like a strip and it's flat wood it's also made out of wood metal or other rigid material typically marked at, at regular intervals to draw straight lines or measure distances okay so we're talking about just a straight strip it's usually flat but it could be a cylinder <laughs> of plastic i i'm not sure but maybe i know more I'm more familiar with just the straight strip that is flat and sometimes that's made out of wood, metal or other rigid rigid material like plastic, I would say. So typically marked at regular intervals. So you can get inches, you can have centimeters as well and you use it to draw straight lines or measure distances. Distancias. Puedes Puedes medir distancia, centímetros, pulgadas, and so on. So how do you say this in Spanish? Okay, time is running out, guys. <laughs> time time's running out. KS says pluma. That's not the answer, guys. That's not the answer. <laughs> 30 seconds. 30 seconds now. Aha. Uh -huh. So it's flat, guys. It's flat. You use it to measure things. Aha! Uh -huh. Ding, ding, ding! I have an answer. <laughs> I have a correct answer. That was very close. That was very close. <laughs> the answer is regla. La regla. Regla means ruler. The ruler. La regla. Una regla. A ruler. So, yeah, anything that uh, can be a ruler is a regla. <laughs> okay uh so who guessed first ks is correct roger is correct so ks gets a point good job ks 
la regla, the ruler. Will says, voy a comer algunas ciruelas, pero estaré asistiendo. Ok, <laughs> ok, <laughs> you do your thing, Will, that's all good. <laughs> It's all good. Ok, um, ok, yes, can you please let us know the next number? 5 horizontal. Ok, let's do that one. 5 horizontal, guys. That is 5 across. And, ooh, ok. Hmm. That's right here. And uh, we have the letter O, C, and E. This word, or possibly words, have 3, 6, 9, 10, 13. 13 letras. 13 letras, guys. 13 letras. Now, I'm going to find a definition. Oh, okay. It's an easy one. You're gonna know what it is. I'm not sure if you're gonna nail the spelling, but I, 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 I think you will. I think you will. The time, guy, guy, guys, starts now. A machine for making photocopies. Okay, so this is a machine that is useful to photocopy things. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them are, usually those are big, but nowadays printers have that as well. But it's just essentially a machine for making photocopies. Aha. Uh -huh. I see, I see an answer. Ding, ding, ding. That's correct. That's correct. We are talking about photo copiadora fotocopiadora so that's a long word fotocopiadora la fotocopiadora the photocopy for photocop let's <laughs> say that in english I'm photocopier <laughs> yeah photocopier <laughs> and uh yes that that's what it means it's very similar to the english one uh but not quite Fotocopiadora, the photocopier, <laughs> la fotocopiadora. Okay, good job, KS, good job, Roger. And the first one who answered correctly was KS. Okay, KS gets the point. Awesome. Now, KS, can you please let us know the next number? The next number, we only have five, five words, guys, only five. We still have long words. We have two down, 12 across, uh, four down. I think that looks, that looks long too. ¿Qué es? Necesidades básicas de alimentos, agua, ropa y ahora conexión de internet, dos vertical. Ok, thank you, ¿qué es? And yeah, I agree, everybody should have internet connection or access, for sure, like that is super important. I agree, I agree with that, ok, yes, thank you for sharing. Dos vertical, dos vertical, that's right here, the number, oh, okay, the long one. This one has three, six, nine, ten, eleven, once, once letras, once letras, guys. Now, let me find the definition, the time starts now. An electronic device for storing and processing data, typically in binary form, according to instructions given to it in a variable program. So it's just, I think we've, we've talked about this one before. I think a previous crossword puzzle had this, but it's just an electronic device 
for storing and processing data, typically in binary form, according to instructions given to it in a variable program. So yes, how do you call this in Spanish? In Spain has a completely different name. In Latin America, it has another name. And yes, we're looking for the one used in Latin America. Roger, ding, ding, ding. Roger is correct. KS was almost correct. And we're talking about computadora, computadora. So this one is very common. And I think uh, we have talked about this before, like in previous videos. Computadora means computer. In Spain, you call this ordenador. And uh, yeah, I'm more familiar with the term computadora, la computadora. Uh, so yes, Roger gets the point. Good job, Roger. Good job. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna put here Roger. And one point, excellent. Now, Roger, can you please let us know the next number? We're almost done, guys. We are almost done. So that's that's good. That's good. <laughs> Four down. Four down. Thank you, Roger. And I'm going to find the word, guys. That's right here next to number two, next to computadora. The second letter is the letter A. And this word has six, three, six, nine, ten letters. Yeah, right? Yeah, ten letters. Now, Oh, this one is good. This one is good. Let's see if you know this one, guys. Remember, all the words are nouns, all of them. So, the definition or the time starts now. And the definition is a, a device for sharpening a pencil by rotating a cutter around its point. Okay, so a device for sharpening pencils or a pencil by you do this by rotating a cutter around its point so i'm pretty sure this has different names in spanish but there's one that has 10 letters and the second letter is the letter a ah. so do you know this it sounds like it has two words but it's actually one okay one word how do you say this in spanish you have almost one minute <laughs> uh, and it this is actually masculine it's a masculine noun so yeah i mean i hope you can guess this one it's it's not a common word to use nowadays because everybody is like using their computers but if you're using a pencil, you need this. You need this, okay? Um, so, <laughs> how do you say this in Spanish, guys? Timer is almost running out. The time is running out. Okay, no. Aha, aha. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Man, I got worried for a bit because the time was like 19 seconds. You only had 19 seconds left, guys. So I was like, man. <laughs> but I see three awesome answers. And they're all the same. And they're all correct. We're talking about sacapuntas. Sacapuntas. Okay, so it looks like two words, but it's just one. Saca puntas. Uh, and this is masculine. El saca puntas. Do you know what this means, guys? 
Do you know? Do you know? It's just, this means pencil sharpener, okay? So, yeah, <laughs> that's what it means, pencil sharpener. And uh, who answered first? Roger, Roger, good job. Good job, Roger. Excellent, good job. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I agree, Roger. That's fun to say. Sacapuntas. Sacapuntas. Puntas means um, like point, like the pointy part of the pencil. Uh, so that's punta. La punta. And saca. It's like a, like you're saying that you're getting the pointy part out. Okay. Saca punta. Saca punta. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Uh, I need to I need to write more often. Like take I I need a binder. I need a binder. I need a sacapunta or a necesito una carpeta, un sacapuntas y un lápiz para escribir. I need to write something down. I need to practice my writing, my handwriting. <laughs> so yeah, because I've used my computer so much that I don't I don't write things down. And I don't think that's good. <laughs> anyway, um, now Roger is saying 12 across. Uh, KS says sugar people, sugar people still use pencil or mechanical pencil. Oh, that's good. That's good. Will says, guys, don't forget the N in sacapuntas. Sacapuntas, the N? Really? Oh, <laughs> yes, I got it. Yeah, you need the N. You need the N in that word. Otherwise, it's going to sound weird. <laughs> it's going to sound funny. <laughs> For sure. Good joke, Will. <laughs> Good joke. Now, let's do 12 across. Let me find that for you guys. 12 across. Okay. That's right here. It has the letter E and the letter R. And this has 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. 10 letters. 10 letras. So I'm going to reset the timer. Mm. Man, number 12. Huh. Okay, this one is not too hard. Number 12 across, guys. 10 letters. The definition and the time, well, the time starts now. And the definition is a piece of furniture with a flat or slopped surface and typically with drawers, raw, drawers, at which one can read, write, or do other work. Okay, so it's just a piece of furniture. I'm actually using one right now. So with a flat surface, okay? And it sometimes it has drawers. Sometimes don't mine doesn't have that. And um, yeah, you can use it to read, write, or do other kind of work. So Ding, ding, ding. I see an answer. I see an answer. And it's correct. The answer is escritorio. 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 El escritorio. That means the desk. Okay. Escritorio. Desk. And um, KS and Roger, both of you are correct. And uh, the first one who answered correctly was... KS, so KS gets a point. It looks like KS is gonna win this this uh, today. Uh, so that's great. So good job, KS. Uh huh. Roger, yeah, escritorio. Yeah, you guys were correct. El escritorio, the desk. Now, Roger, no, <laughs> sorry, KS, can you please uh, let us know the next number? We only have two words left. So yeah, that, that was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. I'm going to reset the 
timer guys so let me see i'm gonna look at the words and see how difficult they are okay there is one that is very easy very easy and the other one is eh, it's not that bad it's not that bad <laughs> so okay yes can you please let us know the next number we have number 13 number 14 13 14 which one would you like okay yes Ok, 14 vertical, 14 vertical. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> Will says, wow, in Portuguese, escritorio means office and oficina, garage. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. I mean, <laughs> that can get confusing. <laughs> uh, but that that is very peculiar i like it i like it thank you for sharing well now 14 guys 14 down 14 vertical that word is here the second letter is the letter o and the last letter is the letter r this word also has three six seven eight Ocho letras, eight letters. So I'm gonna find the definition. Okay, this, the time starts now. An object, typically a piece of soft rubber or plastic used to rub out something written. Okay, uh, so it's an object, <laughs> typically a piece of of soft rubber or plastic used to rub out something written. Okay, so how do you say this in Spanish? I'm pretty sure this this word has also many different uh, variables, like different words to say this word, but there's one that has 10 letters. That was 10 letters, right? Three, six, <laughs> eight letters. And remember, we have a letter O and the letter R. R. So do you know? Yeah. Well, ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Borrador. Borrador. So you really need to roll your R there. <laughs> Borra. Dor, borrador and that means eraser okay any kind of eraser usually the yeah the one that is like um some rubber yeah i don't think they're made out of plastic like the definition was saying but yeah they look very rubbery <laughs> so yeah borrador el borrador the eraser so, Will gets a point. Oh man, this is getting exciting. Man, good job, Will. Uh, so <laughs> let's see if we have a tie or if KS wins today. Who knows? Who knows? I like when we have things like that. Like, <laughs> just so exciting. <laughs> it's like watching a soap opera, that kind of adrenaline, you know? So, I'm going to reset the <laughs> timer. And we have one more, guys. One more. That is 13 down. 13 down. Right here. 13 down. The first letter is the letter O. And the, uh, the last one is the letter A. O -A -O -A. and this word has three six seven seven letters yes seven letters okay oops that was load let me find the definition and i forgot to remove the number i have to do it <laughs> uh okay now we find the definition and <laughs> let's see who answers first chun 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 Okay, the time starts now. A room 
set of rooms or building used as a place for commercial, professional or bureaucratic work. Okay, so now a room once again a room set of rooms where you put all these things in okay it could also be a building uh, and it's used as a place for commercial professional or bureaucratic work ding 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> good job guys good job <laughs> i see will says oficina Roger says the same thing and let me tell you that's correct <laughs> it's so funny that this was the last word that you guys had to guess because we were talking about this the entire time because you put all of this in in la oficina so oficina means garage in Portuguese but in Spanish it means office Oficina, office. So you can see that it, it's it's very similar to the English word. So no problem there, right? Will gets the point because he was the first one to answer. Yeah. So we have a tie. <laughs> That's awesome. That's uh, <laughs> I liked it. I liked it. Awesome. Uh huh. So. Will says, that's funny, the last word being oficina. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Okay, yes, a tie. Wow. Will, a great game, Roger, and KS. Okay, guys, now let me, let me, let me read all the words. We do this all the time, and I think it's, it's good to do this because you can, if you want, you can say the words out loud with me. Um, so, I'm gonna choose, I think, um, orange, orange, yeah, orange, why not? So let's read the whole thing. <laughs> sobre, sobre means envelope, el sobre, la fotocopiadora, la fotocopiadora, uh, the photocopier, la computadora, la computadora de computer or computer, el sacapuntas, el sacapuntas, that means a pencil sharpener, la impresora, la impresora, the printer or printer, conexión de internet, conexión de internet. That means internet connection or internet access. El lápiz. El lápiz. That means the pencil. La carpeta. La carpeta. Binder. El escáner. El escáner. Uh, scanner. <laughs> Calendario. Calendario, that means calendar, el calendario. Escritorio, escritorio, el escritorio, the desk. El borrador, el borrador, the eraser. La oficina, la oficina, the office. La regla, also this means like, rule as in you know you need to to follow the rules necesita seguir las reglas so it could be also the the thing that helps you a ruler that helps you measure things but it can also be a rule just as in english a rule that you need to follow so la regla la regla ruler and lastly calculadora calculadora la calculadora the calculator okay so that was th those were the words guys 15 new spanish words uh, that you know now that you added to your spanish vocabulary i'm pretty sure you knew some of them already but uh, it's good to you know uh, remember all those words uh constantly so you don't forget them okay so Let's read the score and then I'll read your comments, guys. <laughs> so, 
KS or Roger, two points. Uh, Will, seven points. And KS, seven points, which means we have a tie. And it, I mean, I'm still going to have some fireworks because you guys, you did an excellent job. All of you guys amazing amazing you know spanish i'm proud of you you're the best and uh, i'm really happy that you did this with me that we guessed together different spanish words and i mean i love it i love it <laughs> thank you so much for for that now let's read some of your comments um okay uh-huh Will says, great game, Roger and KS. Yeah, I agree with that. Will says, uh, KS, are you from Barbados? Yes, are you, KS? Are you? Um, oh, okay, I see that KS says, si vine aquí joven. Okay, so KS is from Barbados. That's pretty cool. That's, that's awesome. Uh, Roger, well done, everyone. Sorry I was a little late to the party. Uh, it's all good, Roger. Uh, welcome. I mean, <laughs> you, I already said welcome, but uh, it, it's amazing that you were able to just tune in and just share some <laughs> some uh, moment with us. So that's, that's great. Thank you for that. And Will says, or Kaya says, Buen partido, Roger E. William. I like that you get along, guys. That's awesome. <laughs> Uh, even though this is a competition, we're all friends here. We're all like learning. Well, <laughs> I know I know Spanish, but w we are learning. Uh, I learned some port uh, some words in Portuguese. I, I, I that's amazing, and uh, yeah, that that's that's pretty awesome. Will says, genial. Me gustaría conocer a todos los países. Me gustaría conocer todos los países, uh, Barbados, Antigua, en Bar Barbuda, um, Santa Kitts, or St. Kitts, and Nevis, and so on. Oh man, Nevis, where is that? Nevis, in, is that in, in somewhere in <laughs> close to Barbados? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've never heard of seeing kids in Nevis. Nevis sounds like somewhere in Greece, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, okay, guys. <laughs> Do you have any questions about today's crossword puzzle? Like any, any questions about the words or anything like that? Would you like to suggest um, something else for future uh, crosswords? Uh, I know that KS mentioned something about... Who is it? Uh, police, I think? Something related to to the police? I'm not sure. Sorry, KS, if you can um, clarify that for me. Because <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, other than that, um, yeah, tomorrow is going to... We're going to have a... Um, Tomorrow is Friday, right? Friday. So tomorrow is Friday. We're we're gonna have uh, an exclusive live stream. So if you don't want to miss out, you can uh, click on the join on the join button down below and check out the memberships. There are different perks, including exclusive live streams. So yeah. Will says sobre es masculino. Yeah, el sobre, el sobre. Did I say la sobre? <laughs> El sobre. Yes, that's correct. Or, yeah, yeah. It, that's a question. Okay, yeah. El sobre es masculino. Yes. El sobre. El sobre. Los sobres. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. That's masculine. Masculine noun. Okay, yes. Todas esas, todos esos países están en el Caribe. Okay. Really? Hmm. I didn't know. I, didn't, I mean, Will knows a lot. That's 
He's so young and he knows a lot. That's awesome. Uh, thank you, KS, for letting us know that as well. Will, KS suggested something about law and justice. Okay, law and justice. So, uh, I tr I'm going to try to find some terms. Nothing too complicated. Uh, but I'm going to see if I can do that. Law and justice. It sounds... Sounds like a TV show, not injustice. So yeah, okay, I, I can do that for the next crossword puzzle. I can do that. Okay, yes, law and justice crossword puzzle. Yeah, yeah, okay, got it. Will says boa noche, boa boa noche. I still remember the phrase boa noche. E, the rest, I, I'm gonna try to say it. E bom, bom, e bom. Descanso. <laughs> Descanso. That sounds very similar to Spanish. Descanso. And, and, uh, y buen descanso. And good resting. <laughs> Sugar. Thank you so much, Will. Uh, I, I wish you the same. Um, buenas noches y que tengas un buen descanso. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you. You're really kind. Thanks. Uh, que yes, disfruta de tu noche. I will. Thank you so much. Que yes. And once again, congratulations, guys. It was, I'm not gonna change the monthly score because it was a tie. So let's see next time we have three more word crosswords this month. And let's see, let's see if Que yes wins the most times this month this month or maybe somebody else maybe we will have a tie who knows who knows what's gonna happen i don't know but it's very exciting <laughs> okay take care of yourself uh be safe um just uh, take care yeah take care of yourself be safe please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and uh tomorrow i'll see you members <laughs> you too guys you too ks and, and will I hope you can join me. We're going to talk about something interesting in Spanish. I have to work on that lesson, actually. And yeah, that's it. Uh, have a great night, guys. Take care. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Uh, Adios.